Now this week is Fire Prevention Week aimed at reducing the number of fires that can destroy homes and take lives. WSFA 12 News reporter Bethany Davis joins us live this morning at Montgomery Fire Station number nine. And Bethany, fire can strike really anywhere, any family. Yeah, I want you to listen to these numbers from the National Safety Council across the country. A fire department responds to a fire every 23 seconds. One house fire is reported every 93 seconds. When house fire related injury occurs every 47 minutes and one house fire related death occurs every three hours and eight minutes. This is Montgomery Fire Rescue's lead fire investigator, District Chief Kenny Peoples. I know firefighters spend a lot of time, a lot of energy preaching the importance of smoke alarms and fire extinguishers in the house. Why is it so important for us to have those? So it's important to have both of them in the house. Definitely want to have your smoke alarms and your fire extinguishers. The smoke alarms are there to wake you up to if you have a fire, where do you sleep or awake? Because sometimes you may just be away from where the fire starts, but definitely there to help us out. Where's the best place to keep both a smoke alarm and a fire extinguisher? So your smoke alarms, the best place to do is like if you have a multi-story home, at least on every level of that home. If you have a single story home, at least on in every room or out just outside the room or in all sleeping areas. What about a fire extinguisher? So fire extinguishers, they're great to have. But here's the thing, the fire extinguishers are there for the smaller fires. If you see the fire getting too big, get out and stay out. That's what we're here for. All right, so you keep one close to the stove. You think that's Correct. a good a good spot to keep so it? So it's in, in general, it's, it's where you're most comfortable. At least you want to keep it in close proximity to the kitchen. Okay. Um, some people keep it right there by the stove. Some people keep it in their pantry, just as long as you remember where it's at. All right, let's go ahead and get out that fire extinguisher because I know that they can be a little bit intimidating for a lot of people to use. They're big, they're bulky, and well, they do have an intimidating look to them. Walk us through the right way to use it, just in case we ever need to. So, right, so fire extinguishers, they can seem intimidating, but we give everybody a simple acronym. It's called PASS, which is point, aim, squeeze, and sweep. So, like I said, what you're gonna do when I say pull, you're gonna pull this pin that's right here. Now, we're just demonstrating, we're not gonna pull it, <laughs> but we're gonna pull this pin, all right? And then you're gonna aim, which you're gonna take this and we'll use our stove. So you're gonna aim, you're gonna squeeze this handle. When you squeeze this handle, when the pin is out, that's gonna actually let the, everything to come out the fire extinguisher itself. So you squeeze, and it's gonna sweep, just like that, and it'll sweep in motion. Now, like I said, if it gets too big, you wanna get out of there, and that's what we're here for. Uh, with your fire extinguishers, you wanna make sure that they're getting checked on a regular basis, at least on a yearly basis. And the biggest thing to have the gauges there, you wanna make sure that that needle stays in the green. So. Good to know. Well, we have stayed in the kitchen this morning because the theme for this year's Fire Prevention Week is cooking safety starts with you. Pay attention to fire prevention because unattended cooking, food left cooking on the stove is a leading cause of house fires every year, guys. It can be very dangerous. Bethany, thank you for the information there. Fire Prevention Week runs through Saturday.